Hi guys, so for this example we're going to look at the cause and effects of a current situation. Uh, for this example we'll be looking at gay marriage in the United States of America. So you will often find that when we have a scenario at the moment there will be a number of events that will lead up to that. You can call these milestones and the, in the example of the United States of America the legal situation started off in Hawaii. Hawaii was the first state where there was a ruling that potentially the ban on same-sex marriage was unconstitutional. So they looked at the American legislation and they said potentially what the court is doing by not allowing gay marriage is un unconstitutional and illegal. So then we jump forward, that was in the 1970s. So then we jump forward to Massachusetts and the Goodridge case in 2004 and this was between uh, a lesbian couple and Massachusetts ruled that they could have a same-sex marriage. Um, at the time Massachusetts was the only state in the United States of America that would allow this. So jumping forward to 2014, over a period of time um, the majority of states in the United States of America allowed same-sex marriage or at the very least uh, same-sex civil partnerships. It covered 70% of the United States population. Of course at this stage there are inconsistencies between the states and, some, and a few states, for example like Texas, did not allow um, partnerships, same-sex partnerships or marriage. Um, and this obviously caused problems with people moving between states. So it did finally go to the Supreme Court and really it did require there to be consistency between the states. So in 2015 it was legalised in all states, every single state in America. Um, because it was considered this would be the correct interpretation of the American Constitution. You'll see a lot about um, religious people being against this in the United States, but do remember that looking at these statistics, the majority of religious people for most religions um, in America do accept um, equality for gay marriage. There are a few religions, for example, um, Muslims and white evangelical Christians, um, where we've got less than 50%. But the majority of the religious people in the United States do support it. And this may be contrary or different to what you may think. Nevertheless, you have to recognise the current situation at the moment. There are quite a few vocal people who are against it. Um, one of those organisations is the Americans uh, for Truth. Our current situation, I think, is perhaps illustrated by the um, imprisonment of Kim Davis. Kim Davis was a marriage clerk and she absolutely refused to marriage gay couples. She was, uh, had a court injunction on her forcing her to do this. She still refused to do this and was given the op opportunity of either um, marrying gay couples or going to prison. Um, she did choose prison. So you can see that the a Supreme Court is fully behind enforcing the law over gay marriage. Um, this may not always be the case. Uh, sometimes laws are passed and they're not enforced in any way, in any effective way, by the government. In this case, it has been enforced by the government. So there's a quick roundup on the current situation, legal situation, of gay marriage in the United States. And you'll see that there are a number of milestones that went through and a number of different opinions uh, that led to the current situation.